Beckham, was you into the Spice Girls before, Ant? Um, no, but I was into Posh. Had you already seen a picture of her and knocked one out? <laughs> That's a yes, isn't it? <laughs> come on, what about that picture of her in the black cat suit and the boots <laughs> that come up well high? Apparently in that video, if you freeze frame it, you can actually see a tiny bit of camel toe. <laughs> ain't, that, ain't that right? I can see. <laughs> yeah, that's more like a camel hoof, girl. <laughs> uh, now, it must be amazing going out with a Spice Girl. But in an ideal world, and no disrespect to your bitch, wouldn't <laughs> In an ideal world, wouldn't you rather be with baby? <laughs> <laughs> so how many of the spy schools turned you down before you went for <laughs> You went for scary first, what? <laughs> no, just this one. Now, does you go to watch him play football? Yeah, I do, whenever I can, because Brooklyn loves going to watch him, so as much as we can. Me heard there is an insulting song that they sing about you. As you heard it, what is the words? <laughs> they say, <coughs> posh spice. That you, that you take it up the arse? That's what they say. <laughs> but that ain't insulting. That is the biggest compliment you can pay to <laughs> No, but seriously, does you take it up the back? <laughs> no, of course I don't. Beckham, you're telling me you ain't never been caught offside? <laughs> no. But me heard you was well good at getting round the back and swinging your balls in, eh? Right? <laughs> now, Beckham, do you reckon the better the footballer you is, the fitter the girl you go out with? <laughs> Obviously. So, you is the best at footy, you know? So you get posh. So does Sporty Spice go out with someone from Scumfoot United? <laughs> That's horrible. What do you mean? That's my friend and she's lovely. Exactly. Why? Is he trying to say Scumfoot is not a good team? Yes. That is, that is a horrible thing to say about them. <laughs> you has got a little nipper. Do you reckon you as good parents? Yeah, I do think we're good parents. So when did you teach him to roll his first spliff? <laughs> I will never teach him that. Why not? You should never deny your kid education. <laughs> so what's he called? Brooklyn. All right, and how did you come up with that name? <laughs> well, we found out that I was pregnant while, we was, while I was on tour in America and we was in Brooklyn when we found out. So had you actually done it there? No, we didn't do it there. Ah, uh, for real? We did it in Denmark, if you really want to know. <laughs> so how come you never called him Denmark? <laughs> that would be a well good idea, though, what? Because if me and me Julie had a kid, we'd call him Langley Village. <laughs> well, his full name would be the Bogs in the <coughs> KFC in Langley Village. <laughs> so tell me, does Brooklyn like your music, or is he getting a bit old for it now? <laughs> He does like music. He's, he's really, you know, he jigs about and dances, and he's also into football as well. So it's nice. So Respect. He's doing a footballer with rhythm. So tell me, is your little boy starting to put old sentences together? He's saying little bits and pieces, and yeah. And what about Brooklyn? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I will. So, do you want him to grow up to be a footballer like his dad, or a singer like Mariah Carey? <laughs> I'm hoping that he'll grow up to be a footballer like his dad and I'd like to grow up and be a singer like Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> Respect. He's got to have a break now because Posh is going to do a bit of breastfeeding backstage. <laughs> Just out of interest, is there one going spare? <laughs> Check you later. Welcome back. Me and Brooklyn is both well fed. <laughs> Respect. Now, Posh, 
I know a lot of people have asked you this, but is you really posh? I'm not really posh. No, I just For like real. nice clothes and nice restaurants, and that's how I got called posh. David, they say posh people talk as if they got a plum in their mouth. <laughs> Does your missus sound posh when she got your plums in her mouth? <laughs> I was going to say, you're not actually meant to speak when you've got your mouth full, so you wouldn't actually have that problem. Respect. <laughs> Respect. Posh, me heard you recently had a disease of the head called meningitis. <laughs> <laughs> Is you better now? I had um, viral meningitis now. <laughs> that is well bad. So did Sporty catch the meningitis from you? Because she, she has got it well bad. Don't laugh, that is serious. She got a bad case of no, it. No, none of the other girls have had meningitis, only me. Respect. Now, Becca, you has been well quiet there in the corner. Yeah? You been, don't think... I mean, this ain't like a classroom where if you keep your head down, I won't ask you questions, you know? <laughs> now, why do you think you is a pin-up for so many gay lords? We don't... <laughs> We, we don't use the word batty men now because it ain't politically correct. <laughs> you tell me. I mean, just because you wear skirts, your girlfriend's pants, have a suntan and a skinhead, talk like a girl and hang out with Elton John, what's going on? <laughs> <like that? laughs> nothing, nothing wrong with that. For real, respect. Me gotta say, and me hope me speaking <clears throat> for the rest of the audience here and the country, that me would love to see you two bone each other. <laughs> What's about right now for comic relief? <laughs> I'm posh, I don't do that kind of thing. But it's for charity! I don't care! There's brothers out there dying and shit, come on! <laughs> no, but... Come on, let's see your red nose! <laughs> <laughs> well, can I bone your missus? <laughs> no. Respect to both of you for coming on. Please big it up! for the main couple in England, Posh and Bex! Yeah. Yeah.